Hey y'all, it's Elmo with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to use the Cat's Pajamas products along with Dollar Tree products to create these cute little Scotty dogs. I actually only had one dog, so I did the front and the back in different ways. Which one do you like better? I started with this cute little wood Scotty dog from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted him to look like he was wearing a sweater. So I used a Sharpie to mark off where I wanted the sweater. And then I used plaid folk art black chalk ink to paint everywhere but where the sweater would be. For the sweater, I chose a bright red paint that I got at Michael's, Craft Smart Cherry. I did both sides and let everything dry. Two coats for the cherry. Now while the paint dries, I'm going to take this little bit of greenery that I found in the bottom of one of my bags after a shopping trip from the Dollar Tree. I like the greenery, but to go with the farmhouse theme of the Scotty, I'm replacing the ribbon with black and white buffalo check. And then I'm adding some red berries. Now here's the Scotty with his nice, bright, warm red coat. Now I wanted to use the pattern builder for the Scotty because I wanted to make a plaid, but it just didn't fit. So I used the one inch striped stencil by itself. Now I didn't want the stencil to move around since I wasn't using the pattern builder, so I sprayed the back with spray mount and I let it completely dry. That makes it repositionable, but it's strong enough that it won't move. Now, I apologize for the next bit. For some reason, I lost the footage when I created the other side of the dog using the skinny alphabet stencil, but this is the way that I did it. I placed the dry Scotty on a raised canvas just to give me a flat, solid surface. I've also added some painter's tape to the edges to mask off the stencil so I don't ink up parts that aren't necessary. Now with black soot, distressed oxide ink, and the big beautiful blending brush, I'm swirling onto the stencil, onto the sweater of the dog. Now I don't want to add too much, just enough for there to be a gray layer. Now once that's done, I'll remove the stencil, and I'll turn the stencil so that it's perpendicular with the stripe we laid down. I'll press down so that the stencil doesn't move and I'll swirl on more ink. Now I like to start with a sense where the stencil intersects the previous stripe because I know that that's going to be where the ink should be the darkest. Now it doesn't take much, don't get carried away, otherwise you'll lose that plaid look. Then remove the stencil when you're done. Now you have a buffalo plaid sweater on a cute little Scotty. For the word joy, I've used the shaky stencil serif to draw it out with a pencil on tracing paper just to check the size. Now once I'm happy with the placement, I use a pencil to add the Y to the Scotty sweater. And the J. I'm leaving room for a snowflake, which is what I'll be using for the O. Now once I finish tracing, I'll just fill in with this white Sharpie paint marker. For the O, I'm going to be using this wood snowflake sticker from the Dollar Tree. I'm removing the foam tape just because it fills the center with white and I want the color of the sweater to come through. And I'll attach it with hot glue. And finally, a sweet buffalo check ribbon that I'm also attaching with hot glue. A quick little trim. And that's it. Cute and fast and just the way I like it. 
And here's the other side. I use the skinny alphabet instead to create the word Noel. I think these look pretty good. And, there's, and it was so fast and easy to make. I hope you give it a try. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.